People sometimes would like you to think that uh, farmers have no recourse. Well, since delisting last year, farmers have tremendous uh, resources. They are not helpless. Um, in the last year, 10 wolves have been killed under landowner permits, so they are allowed to use lethal control. If they've had repeated depredations on their farm, they can be issued a landowner permit that allows them to kill any wolf on site on their property. 10 wolves have been killed. They also have a law that allows them to kill any wolf in the act of attacking their livestock. And six wolves were killed under that, um, under that authority. They are also reimbursed fair market value for their loss. Is that fair market value? Is that okay? I got a milk cow. Mm -hmm. It's killed. Mm -hmm. Is it fair market value? Right now, that's yes. that, okay. It's not taking into account that you might milk that cow for 15 years and you don't have 15 calves. No, it, up. so that's all the law. The intent of the intent of the law is you lose a cow today. Right. Uh, we're going to give you the money today so that right. you can go out and buy another cow. Right today, but you still you and still lose. lose. Well, you're going to get oh, another no. cow. No, but you still lose. Wow. Well. Um, there was a volunteer, we had a voluntary uh, compensation fund at one point where volunteers put money in, I contributed to that account too, where uh, we paid the farmer fall market value um, and we paid a difference. That fund has all been exhausted now, but we pay the farmer today. They don't get reimbursed if that cow gets hit by lightning. No, I agree. So, um, but anyway, um, any animal, you know, we talk about the fear of the wolf, but any animal is capable of attacking. Um, we have, and I just went through and did a, a quick email search. We've had in the United States, cougar, three deaths, black bears, 18 deaths in the past 12 years. Uh, bees, wasps, 53, spiders, six people get killed every year from spiders, 20 from a horse. Domestic dog is the most deadly animal in the United States. In Michigan, we have an average of one to two deaths by a dog. And uh, a person living in wolf country has a far greater chance of being killed or injured by their dog than injured by a wolf. Um, deer, we don't like to think of deer, you know, the almighty deer, but in 2011, we had eight fatal car crashes. Um, and also 1,400 injuries just from the deer. And then we don't think about the mosquito, we have the national emblem of the UP, but 65 <laughs> deaths were attributed to West Nile virus as a result of a mosquito bite. So every day we deal with risks. Uh, we had three deaths from the mosquito in Michigan. So, you know, put the fear of a wolf in perspective. Um, and it's easier to say that that same survey I was telling you about, very afraid, 16% of the people answered, said they were very afraid of wolves. 9% somewhat uh, were afraid, 35% somewhat afraid. But there's only been two fatal wolf attacks in North America in the entire 21st century. And when you look at the statistics, 100 people annually are killed by hunters. <laughs> so we have 100 people a year killed by hunters two fatal wolf attacks in the entire 21st century, but 35% of the people are somewhat afraid of wolves. Um, when I'm out in the woods all the time. I don't carry a gun. I've been a, I was a one wolf, Wisconsin wolf tracker for 17 years, never once carried a gun, um, because there isn't anything really to fear from the wolf. Um, we've had beaver attacks, yes, in Hurley. <laughs> Two women escaped from a feisty rodent. Yes, Hurley. Hurley. 